Oh, Canada. <laughs> How low are we going to go? Well, not we. Yeah, I don't use that terminology very often when you're talking about the, the population of Canada. Mostly because I realize I don't want to associate myself with everybody in Canada. Because I'm one of the few people, apparently, that don't collectivize the entire country or the geography or the, or the population that make up the mass of this country. Why would I ever want to do that? Because if I did, that would mean I'm in line with, with someone such as this. And I'm sure you've heard it. I haven't even uploaded the other video that did the first part of this. But anyways, just to give you a quick heads up, there was a gentleman, older gentleman, Looked like he was in his 50s or 60s. He's, he's an older gentleman anyways. They had the Nova Scotia government, right? The motor vehicle. Um, registration people in Nova Scotia. <laughs> he, his last name, genuine. His legitimate, totally legitimate. This is just his last name. He's of German descent. Is G-R-A-B-H-E-R. -E so grab her, but Graber probably is what how you would pronounce it, right? The H would probably be silence. Silent. But that's his genuine last name. But because of Trump, when he was running during the election, think how fucked this is. When Trump was running for the, to become the president of the United States, which, which he is now, but when he was running in the primaries, and this whole debacle came up when there was someone that had recorded him a conversation or something from 10 years ago, whatever. He was talking about grabbing some chick by the pussy. Oh, women, like, you know, some of these women that want to move up or in, in the business or whatever, they'll, oh, they'll let you grab them right by the pussy, more or less, you know, just to get their, their foot in uh, to the position, their foot in the door in the corporation, right? So he was just being honest about some observations that he personally seen. So whether you looked at it as sexist or not, but it was just something that, first of all, like I, was a, like I say, it was a decade. It was just something he was talking like his conversation, locker room banter or whatever. But <laughs> the government of Nova Scotia decided that just because of a couple words that was said and become sensationalized tabloid style from the establishment fake news media in the U.S., right? The ones, the ones that now have what? Single digit popularity or even just barely double digits where most people, most people as we know don't trust the established media and for good fucking reason. But look at so now you have these fucking political fucking ideologues in Nova Scotia that took the man's now he can't even have his personalized plates that he had for what I think like 25 plus years. But nowadays because of what Trump said oh no because it looks like it might be saying it looks like his last name Grabber might be the same as grab her and people may put those all together and what i don't know what someone sees that plate they're going to stop their car immediately or they're going to stop walking down the street or they're going to stop whatever they're doing when they're looking out in their balcony and they've seen it like oh i better go grab some woman's pussy needlessly or just out of the blue just because i seen that plate is this how far the fuck you fuckers going to have to fall right are you, how have you not started scraping the bottom yet? That's that's kind of the biggest question I'm having. How are you not scraping the bottom when you've get, got to the point where your mentality is so confused and so conflated that you're taking someone's personalized plate that's based on their genuine last name and something that Trump said on the campaign trail, or no, it wasn't even on the campaign trail. It was a secret recording of him back in the day before it was even run to, run to become a politician, right? How do you conflate those two things? Like I say, holy shit. We live in the world of idiocracy. Oh, I will suggest. Go check out that video it's, or that movie. It's a, it's a movie. It's quite comedic. You got to watch it. It's called Idiocracy. And yeah, and you'll be like, oh, damn. You sure this ain't a documentary based on modern politics? No, it's not really. It may very well be at some stage of the game, but not yet. But anyways, this is another article. And this is apparently it's probably this this man's son, right? This guy is smart enough that he lives in Alberta. So because it's predominantly a conservative place, but ooh, the Notley's, right? The NDP have taken over there. So I suppose that's probably why he's concerned. But Alberta man worries, this headline, CBC News Edmonton, Alberta man worries his grabber license plate could be canceled after ridiculous Nova Scotia ruling. Father's personalized plate with family name canceled in Nova Scotia after one complaint. That's another thing, too. It took one single complaint from one individual 
<laughs> for them to fucking circumnavigate or circumvent and destroy this man's ability. To, I mean, he paid for it, right? And he's like I said, he's had it for 25 years. It's his last name for Christ. He had a personalized plate on his car. That's his last name. But all it took was one complaint. So think about the kind of SJWs you got running, you know, the DMV or the Ministry of Transportation, or I think in New Brunswick it's called SNB. So maybe what? SN or SNS, right? <laughs> Whatever they're called in Nova Scotia. But look at the kind of people, like I say, look at the kind of petty tyrants. And like I say, they're not just at the upper echelons of government, like your premiers, your prime minister, you know, your judges, your crown prosecutors. That trickles all the way down and it flourishes throughout the entire, like I say, lead by example. So when the example is the lead by, I don't know, I mean, look at the politics that you're talking today, right? You got self-described feminists, right? Feminazis, even Trudeau and these collectivists. Look at them. The, look at how vicious, even back to the conservatives, the progressives or the Harpers or the reformists. Look at all these people and you wonder why it's flourishing and it's rampant throughout government, right down, even down to, I guarantee it's, and I've seen it myself personally. I've witnessed it and experienced it personally. It's not just at the upper echelons of power in politics, in the media. It goes all the way down to your lowly, like your cameraman, for, well, some of them might be, but how could they function in that environment? So I think pretty much all of them have to feel obliged that they have to get in line and go along, right? Right? The brown shirts. I mean, everyone seems to be willing to go along, to get along with this center plan of collective narrative, this social justice, justice warrior fascism, right? Full-on fascism. I, I mean, like I say, and fascism doesn't necessarily mean you're putting people in fucking ovens and burning them. For crying out loud, that's the extreme consequences of it. Not to say that we haven't, we may never reach that point. Who would know? The future is unknown at this stage of the game. And we're not at this point. I get it. But look at what they're doing to people. You're causing hardships and harm to people for because they want to put their personalized name on a plate, but because you might think that some might, someone might misconstrue their last name with something that Trump said. Wow. Psychologists must be fucking... I can only imagine what a psychologist would read, a genuinely honest and consistent, or well, someone like Dr. Jordan Peterson. What you would read from this kind of bullshit. Like, what the fuck, man? I mean, how outrageous can you get? Are we, are we really... If I was the owner of a sensationalized tabloid-style media outlet, I'd be very happy right now. Because, man, that's all it is now, right? It, it's hard to discern the difference between, you know, journalism and tabloid-style sensationalized media. Well, actually, I, there, I think the line's been blurred to the point where is there is there really a discernible difference anymore? I don't know. You tell me. Let me know in the comments below. I'll post a link to this article in the description of this video so you, you can read through it. See, I don't bullshit nobody. This is the truth, man. I don't lie to anybody or a woman, sorry. But this is the reality of the world we live in today. Let me know how you think. Let me know how you feel about it. It's Canadian Libertarian. <laughs> I love liberty.